In this video, I am going to be telling you exactly what a link roundup is, and I'm gonna show you some live examples of roundups so you really understand them. So link roundups are very straightforward. They are when bloggers link out to their favorite updates. So for example, you know they could do a weekly roundup of their favorite blog posts, their monthly roundup of their favorite blog posts. There's a lot of different ways to format them, and I'll show you. But they're great for link building because these are people, these are bloggers that are actively looking for links. So it's a really easy way for us to score links in handfuls because we're approaching people who are actively looking to reach out, right? It's not like we're cold pitching somebody. These people are consistently publishing this content and they're looking for content to link to. So all we have to do is find them and pitch them the right piece of content. Now, what's important to note is that you have to have a blog post or a guide or something of value that was recently published on your website. You cannot pitch a home page or a services page. It has to be an update on your website and it has to be good because otherwise these people are not going to link to it because most of these people have high traffic websites and they're going to be sending visitors to your website so they want to be represented in the right way. So it's also important to note that this should only be done periodically. We do not want to pitch bloggers every single time that we have an update because they're going to get tired. It's like the boy who cried wolf. They're not going to continuously update. So this needs to be planned. So I like to do it quarterly every three months when I have a really, really good blog post. Then I'll go down the list and pitch people. But I do not do it every time I have a blog post because it's just annoying. And they, again, like I said, it has to be a really good update, a really, really good update, or no one is going to hear you out. And over time, if you publish good stuff over and over and over, you're going to build relationships with these people. You're already going to be on their radars. They are going to find you. I mean, what happens with me now is that after I started pitching these people and I consistently pitched them great shit, they then subscribed to my RSS feed, they followed me on Twitter, my Facebook page, so now they are regularly regularly discovering, say that three times fast, they're regularly discovering my content because I'm already on their radar. So the key to this is really, again, it's just having good stuff on your website that you're consistently pumping out. So now, let me show you some examples of link roundups. I've got links in here, but I've also got them open live. This one was on ProBlogger. This is a great website. And as you can see, it's called The Reading Roundup. What's new in blogging lately? And as you can see, it's literally just a list of links and where they came from. And it's got a little uh, blurb underneath it, but really straightforward, right? As you can see, this is what some of them look like. They're just a list of links um, with their favorite stuff from that week. Here's another one on Matthew Woodward. This is called the very best of internet marketing. So as you can see, they're not all called roundups. What they are called is going to be dependent on that website. They are never called the same thing. So note to the link prospector, you have to understand how to use search operators. And I'll talk about that in the next one. But so this one is the very best post of September, the best link building post, um, a bunch of different stuff in here. Here's another one. This is on blog zone. Uh, this is called remarketing best practices. This is just, these are the names of the posts and this is called speed link. Okay. And what he does here is he just writes this as a blog post format. So you can see it's actually not like a list. It's actually a blog post where he links out to different stuff. So again, I'm trying to show you different formats. So you understand what to look for when you're finding these things. This one is on Linkerati. I've been on here a bunch of times. This is the Linkerati roundup. And again, this is the same format as the first one. It's the title of the post the name of the post in a small blurb and then a link to the post. Very straightforward. And you can see why these are valuable because literally it's just an easy link and it's an easy pitch. Here's a final one I'll show you. This is called the weekly measure. So again, this is not called a roundup. So yet it's still a roundup. So I'm hoping that that makes sense to you. And I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos how to really, really prospect for these to make sure that you're finding the right opportunities. So that's the intro to link roundups and what link roundups are. Make sure you consult the slides because it's got the links and it's also got the notes in here for you to review.